Hi, this is Bob, and uh, I had a really good time two weeks ago. My wife and I went to uh, Colorado to visit our daughter, and she lives at 9,100 feet on the slopes leading up to Pikes Peak. And I took along this little 5-watt transmitter called the Hart 25. And uh, when I first got on the air in 1958 with my novice license, my very first contact was made with this very same circuit. Not this transmitter, but the very same circuit I built up back in 1958 and put it on the air. I didn't have any coax and I used some telephone wire that I had found laying out in the field there. There was a piece of telephone wire that had come down or they dropped it or whatever. It was about 50 feet long and it was that two conductor stuff all rubber with very very stiff wires in it. Anyhow I used that and I made an 80 meter dipole and I just hooked it up and put that wire to the center and connected it and by golly it worked. I was able to make contacts. The receiver was a BC 348 receiver at that time and it worked really good. So anyhow in 2012 I uh, saw the article again for the Hart 25. You can find that article on the internet it's on uh, if you go to AmericanRadioHistory.com now that uh, American Radio History is written as one word with no spaces AmericanRadioHistory.com and you uh, click on a box on the left hand side it's got a bunch of letters in it you click right on the letter P and you'll see another page come up and you go down to the second row for 1955 and come over to the right to A for April and you click on that and a PDF copy of the entire uh, book, the entire magazine, Popular Electronics, 1955, April, will come up and you can scroll down page 30 and you will find this transmitter. It's a very simple transmitter, easy to build. You'll notice it's got two power transformers. These are power transformers from... Uh, TV booster amplifiers that they used to make back in the 1950s. I had two of them that are exact same part number and I wired them in parallel because it did not have enough power to run this one little 6V6 tube. The original uh, transmitter article you will see has a uh, 6W6 tube. I had a 6V6 and it's the same basing and I knew it was similar so I used a 6V6. I get about five and a half watts output, no problem. Uh, got a crystal in there, 3552 is this crystal, and I ground it myself. Uh, it was at uh, 3400, I believe, and I ground it up to 3552. And uh, you can see on the front here, I have a uh, transmit receive switch that switches the antenna too uh, for the receiver. And there's a tuning light. And when you flip this button up, the tuning light, it will come on then when you tune, and you can use it as a tuning indicator. And then when you transmit, when you go to operate, you flip down to turn the tuning light off. And it keys pretty good. It has a very, very tiny amount of, of chirp in it. Really not much at all. Uh, let me get some volume here on the receiver so you can hear that. But that's a 313 bulb I'm using there, not a number 47. It sounds pretty good. I turned the receiver off because it, it hisses a little bit and I didn't want to have that in the background all the time. So uh, anyhow, I, I really like this little transmitter. Like I say, I built this one in 2012. And I had such a good time with it out there uh, in Colorado. The antenna was uh, a dipole made of number 16 house wire and uh, fed at the center with uh, a, some RG58 coax about 50 feet long. It was about 10 feet off the ground strung up in the pine trees. Really had a good time talking to my friend back in Mishawaka with it. Uh, like I say, 1,200 miles. The key I'm using is one of these... Uh, little keys that is uh, that is made on a 3D printer and there's a gentleman that sells them on eBay uh, I think it was twenty dollars and it's well worth it and it really works great it's got a nice feel to it too 
I really like that. I mounted it on a piece of uh, plastic, quarter inch thick plastic, so it's got a base to it so it doesn't jump around or anything. And that works out real nice. So I just wanted to show you guys the Heart 25. I didn't see any other information on YouTube or anything on the Heart 25 other than the magazine articles that I did find, uh, the Popular Electronics uh, articles that I did find on the internet. And I think this is a transmitter very well worth uh, the time and effort of building. It's, uh, it's, like, it's like the uh, Amico AT1, but this has got link coupling, and, and they use 18 turns to couple to the, to the antenna. And I believe that's for bandwidth, uh, to get a broadband uh, coupling. I don't know any other reason, but uh, it, it works fine. Uh, you would think it'd have one or two turns to couple to the antenna, but it has 18 turns. And you can see I wound that on an old pill bottle, which is glued on an old tube socket that I broke off of a busted up uh, tube that was no good, and cleaned out the socket, and then slid that... Uh, that uh, pill bottle over it and just glued it on there and wound the uh, coil on there because I did not have a form. And what else can I comment on? Like I said, it's got uh, transmit and receive switching in it and that's just an ordinary toggle switch with coax connected to it. Not the very best match, but uh, it works just fine at low power, no problem at all. So that's it guys. I wanted to show the Heart 25 because I didn't see any other uh, on the internet uh, examples of a constructed unit uh, just the uh, popular electronics uh, article and I think it's a really neat little transmitter easy to build and works good so that's it 73's and good DX